Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talks. Just a quick video, thought I would bring this to your attention. I've already uploaded a video today about Dominic Raab saying that masks and social distancing will continue after June the 21st, which has annoyed a lot of normies out there who believe that the politicians tell them the truth. Why that, why that is, I don't know. It's still beyond me. But here's another one for you to mull over from the government website itself, which not only shows that they have no plans of getting back to normal, they seem to know things are going to get worse. How else can you explain this? Here we have COVID-19 media buying services. This was published on April the 30th, 2021. And basically we have a contract with a media company, Omnicom Media Group for COVID advertising with a contract end date of 31st of March, 2022. That's in 11 months time. And here's the most interesting part. It's for 320 million pounds. That's a lot of money. So it looks like they are planning on doing a lot of COVID advertising campaigns over the next year, 320 million pounds worth. Now, if you look at this article from back in October, the government struck up a deal with Omnicom Media Group before. In fact, it was three weeks before the lockdown, the first lockdown even started in the UK. As you can see in this article, government struck 119 million COVID advertising deal weeks before first lockdown, which led many to speculate as to how did the government know they were going to need a 119 million advertising campaign way back then before the first lockdown was even announced. And look, that was 119 million for the year. And there has been a lot of advertising over the last year, hasn't there? All those posters everywhere, all those adverts on the TV, on the radio, 119 million pounds worth. But this new one for the following year, for this, for the next year up until April 2022, is for 320 million. So you have to ask yourself, here we have a government who are saying, well, June 21st, Everything's going back to normal. Roadmap to freedom, gobbledygook. Yet they've just signed a 320 million COVID advertising deal with a media company, which is three times as much as the past year. So on one hand, they are saying back to normal in June, and yet here they're spending 320 million on advertising specifically for COVID for the next year, which means they are planning on having three times as much advertising for COVID for the following 12 months. It clearly doesn't add up, unless of course they are lying about the roadmap and all that stuff. It's also interesting to note that this company, Omnicom, has also signed a similar deal, an advertising deal with the Australian government as well. So let us know what you think about this in the comments. As always, thanks for listening. Come and subscribe to the tribe at hugotalks.com, a place for like-minded souls who exist in the here and now, in reality, and not the fantasy world created by the fake stream media.